Hi guys, how are you? I hope you are fine and good today. We today we are going to speak about <clears throat> OSPF rep redistributions. So here is our subject today. Uh, as you see here in our scenario in our topology here we have three routers. We have uh, router two in the middle the edge router and we have in the middle sorry one and three router they are edge routers uh, as you see here uh, the, route, the link between router one and router two we have rib version two yes and the link between router one uh, sorry router two and router three we have ospf with area zero uh, router one it has six loopbacks inter six loopback interfaces uh, all these interfaces they are included in rib version 2 and also here we have loopback interface 0 for it's for router 2 included on rib version 2 uh, and also this link it's included also in rib version 2 uh, rib, the router 3 here we have router 3 it has uh, the six loopback interfaces all these loopback interfaces include in OSPF area 0 and router 2 and this link between router 2 and router 3 included with OSPF area 0 what we are going to speak today we are going to speak to into to about uh, five tips or five steps five tips or five topics here look at this we have five things we are going to speak about it and apply it step by step uh, the first thing we are going to configure OSPF and RIP version 2 in each router here. Uh, the second thing we are going to make a distribution between OSPF and RIP. Uh, and we are going to use IP prefix list. Yes, to make the redistribution. We are going to, you will see why we, why we need this IP prefix to make a redistribution between RIP and uh, OSPF. Uh, the fourth, we are going to uh, know how to calculate the metric of OSPF or how to calculate the cost. Finally, we are going to speak uh, a little bit about OE1 and OE2, which means external type 1 and external type 2, which is for OSPF. So now let's begin in the first step we are going to configure. Before that, I make a re pre-requested, yes, a pre-requested configurations like I did the IB addresses of uh, loopback interfaces and the IB addresses for each link, for each uh, serial link here. Interface, I did it also. Uh, just like this, this is the pre-request and also I added this loopback interfaces for router 2 and loopback interfaces for router 3. So now we are going to make or to configure the uh, RIB and OSPF router. So we are going to go to the router 1 first. Yes, here is it. Show IP route here. Just to config just we have directly connected interfaces like this we have one two three four five six seven directly connected interfaces show IB interface brief sorry show IB interface brief yes we have six loopback interfaces and we have one here is for zero 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 show IP protocol to see if we have any routing protocol configured we don't have any routing protocols so now we are going to conf t uh, we are going to configure here for rep and rep for version 2 so now we are going to just like this sorry we don't need to listen to this no problem router rep here so rep just like this hit enter uh, first thing we are going to specify the version so we want version look at this we have one and two so we are going to use two and now we are going to configure network look at this i want to configure these networks one by one so uh, except the 172.16.1.1 1 
because rib version 2 uh, it's yes it's a deal with um, uh, with the classful yes it yes it's not the you can't do like this like OSPF or AJRB you can't use a wildcard mask to specify the class list so uh, if I put this look at this 172.16.100 this for this IP address for this loopback 0 and router 1 if I hit this and make do show run I will show you how this calculate look at this mm -hmm. here is in router 2 look at this router rep yes it calculates it converts into classful yes not classless so it converts into classful so here no network I don't sorry I don't need to do this like this just it's enough to hit 172.16.0.0 because this is a class fall for uh, class uh, B so 172.16.0.0 here is it like this hit enter and here is because they are in the class fall each of one of them they are in a class fall IBI in class fall so I can add the each loopback interface for each network so like this network 172 the 668 I can do like this and I don't have any a mask here or I don't have a wildcard mask to add it so I can do this and make a wildcard mask to to uh, to <coughs> yes to advertise all these loopback interfaces in one network command so I need here to make a network command for each loopback interface so 1.1 1 .1, 0 second one is 2.0 and 3.0 4 0 and the last one is 50.0 and don't forget to make no auto summary because I want to not auto summary to disable auto summarization in version 1 the version 2 sorry so now here we are complete so show IP protocols look at this we have rep here yes that's good and we have look at this we have many many things here look at this this is the interface so the rib updates will send to the serial interface to the look back 0 1 2 3 4 5 so we don't want to uh, to send the updates or to send the update rep to this loopback interface I don't need it so what I want to do here I want to use something it's called the passive interface so go to the conf tier, back again to the router rep uh, we have two ways to configure I can use a passive interface for each loopback but here because I have many loopback interfaces here and just I have one serial I want to make active uh, so I can't make like this by passive interface default so I make all here included serial interface serial 00 to make passive and exception the serial here by um, yes exception this like this no passive sorry make no passive for serial 00 so to make just serial 00 to be active so now go, go to there show IP protocol look at this yes now I have just serial 00 to send the updates yes send and receive rip version 2 so that's good we have routing for networks here we have all routing here what I added and uh, we have passive here look at this we have the passive and we have the passive interfaces yes all passive interface because I did passive by default it will include all interfaces I have in the router it will be the passive and the exception of serial 00 this is the interface will be active so now we are ready to go to the router to complete our configuration come here yes now show IP protocol so it's clean so now here in router 2 we have to configure rep and we have to configure OSPF included area 0 so we have to go the first thing we have just router rep now now 
network the same thing I want to add 172.16.0.0 I want to include this network and this network yes and also it will include this look at this we have we don't have any option to uh, to exclude this IP address as we did in the EIJRB because EIJRB it has the wildcard mask so I can this in the EIJRB I can this 23 just and can I had 000.255 but here in rep I can do this so I don't have any option here I can use 172.16.0.0 no problem and just no auto summary here and also I want just to make this serial interface to be in passive so passive interface yes sorry serial 01 I don't want to this serial 00 to send the rip updates and also I have here I don't want this to send a rip updates to the loopback so I want also passive interface for loopback interface 0 so now <coughs> yes now I should see here all network addresses here with rep show IP root yes I see here look at this once and dot fifty and also I has I see 172 sorry 172.16.1.0 this look back zero in router one Look at this, this is the administrative distance 120 for rep and this is the hop counts, yes, because rep it used the hop counts, yes, it used one hop, one hop, one hop, this is the cost for rep, yes, or the metric. So the metric here it's used hop because I used just one hop to reach to this, to each uh, loopback interface here from router 2. So now show IP protocol or to see I have rep here and I also I have just one serial interface to send the updates rep yes oh, look at this it sends rep virtual one and receive one and two so if I did this I forget to to make a version two here just I want to show you send and receive look at this he sends in rep version one but because I did the router one to be rip version 2 it will yes it will see so let's go to the router 1 is router, router 1 see this loopback interface let's see we don't lose anything show IP protocol just before that yes I have version 2 and version 2 that's good now show IP root look at this I don't see I can't see hmm because he sent in rip version 2 and it should receive in rip version 2 yes so I can't see this IP address or this loopback interface and also either this because it sent and received just in rip version 2 so now go to the router 2 so it's not compatible if I did one version 1 and version 2 it's not compatible so now go to the conf t uh, router rep and make version 2 here yes show IP protocol now I can send and receive by version 2 go to the router 1 and show IP root here look at this now I see 172.16.23 and the 2 to 0 here so now we finish the rep and now we are going to configure OSPF conf t now go to the router OSPF 1 process 1 now I want to advertise this network address 172.16.23.0 look at this I can't use the mask here or the wildcard mask but in rib I can do this 255 with area 0 so just that's it I want to distribute for this yes and I also want to make a passive for this serial I don't want to send the OSPF updates to this serial and to this loop back so I want I can I have two options make I can do the passive by default for all loop back interface and exception for this so what this I want to do so I want to make passive by default 
and make just no passive for serial 01 let's go now go to the router 3 and complete our configuration just we have here just OSPF so conf t now go to the router OSPF 1 the network here I want to advertise this 172.16.3 and this I have here I can do this to 0 to 0 to include this loopback and this serial so 0, 0, 0, 2, 5, 5, 2, 5, 5 with area 0 and also I have network here look at this I see sorry I want to see just look at this we have the adjacency and I want just to make this the summarization for this 992.168.0.0 yes because 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 with 0, 0, 0, 255, 255 I can see like this and uh, with area zero that's good I'm, I'm now I want to to make also the passive interface for these loopback interfaces I want just to make the passive by default for all and I make no passive for the serial serial zero zero just that's good now Look at this now I have a new adjacencies here because I did the passive and no passive no problem yes so show IP protocol look at this I have here the passive interface that's good we have OSPF one yes show IP root I don't see anything because this is nature Actually, so I don't see anything here. So go to the router 2 and make show IP root. Let me see here. I see the rep and I see the OSPF here. Look at this. Yes, I see the loopback interfaces here for router 3. So that's good. And also, look at this. We are going to see I want to show you something here about this yes this is the administ administrative distance and this is the administrative distance this is the default for OSPF and oh look at this we have this is the cost this is the metric for OSPF and how can we calculate this so look at this maybe we are configured now so I want to speak about just to to uh, to make a hop to the route to the step four to calculate the OSPF metric no problem now I want to see you how to calculate the OSPF metric here go to the router 2 look at this we have here OSPF 65 65 65 to reach these loopback interfaces so how can we calculate this simply the equation says the OSPF cost it's equal 10 to the power 8 as you remember in uh, OSP in AHRB we did 10 to the power 7 but here 10 to the power 8 divided by the bandwidth look at this the bandwidth in bit per second yes bit per second not kilobits like like the AHRB here is we want to bit per second and here is cumulative Com yes we have cumulative <coughs> sorry <coughs> we have cumulative here <coughs> yes uh, so in uh, EHRB as you remember we <coughs> we chose the lowest bandwidth but here we want to make a cumulating bad cumulated bandwidth for all see for all interfaces here so now go to the router 2 we now we are going to calculate it I want to make to know what is the uh, bandwidth of serial 0 Z, serial 0 1 for this link this is T1 link sorry this is the serial link so now show interface serial 0 1 just I want to make to know the bandwidth here the bandwidth is 1445 kilobit 
per second if I want to make this in the bit just I want to multiply by thousand so here I don't care about the delay as I did in the AJRB I don't want it so just about the bandwidth here so the bandwidth of this serial is like this so now the OSPF costs is equal 10 to the power 8 divided by here is the bandwidth is 1544 multiply by 1000 because I want to convert it into bit per second so like this plus here's look at this it's not enough just like link and I want the these links also so this link is a VR loopback interface go to the router 3 and show interface loopback sorry loopback 0 here the the cost it will be like this it will be 8 million kilobit per second so if if it's the if it's the bandwidth is greater than uh, the ethernet ethernet is uh, 10000 or 100000 so the cost it, it will be 1 so the cost it will be just 1 so the cost of interface loopback uh, it is the equal or the same of the cost of internet of either the cost of the ethernet sorry the fast ethernet or ethernet uh, loop loop is yes, the ethernet interface sorry so here is i have 8 million so 8 million it will cost just one so if you did this no problem we are going to doing here plus eight sorry one two three yes multiply also by one thousand this number it will equal one yes this number it will be equal one so now i will show you how so now like this we have calculator here yes look at this the first one i want to calculate this one four five four multiply by one thousand here it will equal like this yes one thousand it will equal one million and five hundred forty four thousand and the eight million it will be like what yes So now here is I have eight. One two three. One two three. Yes, multiply by. Sorry, here is I want just to ten to the power eight. Yes. Divided by one 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 and multiply by three. So just look at this. This is the number. It will equal one. So if it's the cost is greater than the fast ethernet so the cost it will be one just it will be one so here's our equation it will be like this i want 10 to the power 8 divided by like this 100 for 500 it will be zero 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 like this one million five hundred forty four thousand yes plus one yes like this this is one this is the cost or yes this is the cost of loopback interface yes for loopback interface so it will be like this 10 to the power 8 it will 10 to the power 8 divided by this number 1 million and 544,000 it will be equal 64 46 sorry 64 plus 1 this is plus one it will equal 65 so the cost here I put I will see here in router 2 I see here look at this show IP root OSPF just here I have 65 so because the cost for this link is 64 the cost for this link is 64 and the cost for this loopback interface for each one it will be equal one so it's cumulative 64 plus 1 it will equal 65 so this is the cost how can we calculate the cost or the metric of OSPF so it is cumulative you should know about this it is cumulative and uh, I used all bandwidth I don't 
needs the delay and I use 10 to the power 8 to calculate it so this is simply about the metric of OSPF so now let's go to make a distribution now I want to make the distribution between OSPF and RIP so now go to the router RIP because I need the distribution here router 2 because this router is the uh, ASP this router is ASPR yes because autonomous system boundary router this router 2 because this is the router it's between OSPF and RIP so here is I need to make a distribution the first thing I want to make a distribution <coughs> distribute the RIP into OSPF uh, so I want to redistribute RIP into OSPF so what I can do this how can I do this so go to the router 2 now I want to redistribute I want to see this router 3 to see the loopback interfaces here so now mm -hmm. let me see something here yes conf t sorry now go to the router ospf1 i want to make let me see just i want to before that uh, I want to redistribute because this is I want to use a prefix list for this so I don't want to use it now I want just to uh, redistribute the OSPF into rep so I go to the rep first sorry outer 2 outer rep now the first thing I want to make redistribute yes redistribute look at this he said in router 2 he says like this hey router 3 please give me your like this OSPF with process 1 so give me your all network all IP addresses your RB addresses in the OSPF area 0 because I want to redistribute it to the router 1 so this is the language so now we distribute OSPF 1 but here is it is very very important to use the metric here because the by default it's 1 so I want to just specify the metric here be careful you should use the metric if you want to distribute the OSPF into RIP as I did in the AGRB also so OSPF metric here is let me see like 4 just like this so now if I go to the router 1 I should see all uh, in IB in loopback interfaces here in router 1 so go in router 3 sorry so go to the router 1 show IP root look at this now I can see all things here of router 3 on router 1 the administrative distance is 120 the same but look at this here is I have the metric 4 4 this is not hop count this is not for hop like this this is the hop count yes 1 but here is not hop count this is the 4 4 metric yes this is the metric 4 because it will um, move from rep to the OSPF it used this metric so now I want now to redistribute the rep into OSPF so now look at this go to the router 2 here yes now exit now router rep router OSPF sorry with one I want to redistribute just I want to show you something here rep yes look at this I want to redistribute rep yes with subnet here yes I should use subnet because OSPF it uh, deals with the class fall as we said in EHRB so go to the router 3 show IP root shall I see them yes now I can see all network addresses here look at this you can see all of them so now look at this we see all links here I see loopback interface 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 and 0 5 look at this I see all loopback interface here that's good 172 this 1.0 here and the 12 this 
and 15 1 2 3 1 2 3 it is and 4 that's good and also and 50 here so I see all loopback back interfaces here from router 3 so now let's go back here we did the easiest one is configuration OSPF rib and we we know how can we calculate the OSPF metric we make a distri uh, redistributions so now I want to use IP prefix list look at this here is why I should use this IP prefix list before that I want to make a summarization here's this tip I didn't mention here in my topics in my tips here because this is the secret look at this I want to make a, a summarization for loopback one two three and four so I want to make a summarization for 192.168.1.1 the 2.1.3.1.4.1 so these four loopback interfaces I want to make a summarization yes for them so it should router 3 here router 3 it should see just 50 and 172.6.1 and see just the summarization yes of this network so how can I do this go to the router 1 as you remembered the EJRB the summarization of router of rep sorry is, is the same of summarization of EIJRP so I should go to the serial 00 here I want to make IP summary address look at this I have EIJRB and rep so this is the way to make a summarization but here we will face a problem you will see what is the problem so look at this rep so now I want to make a summarizations a summarization for I want to show you how to make this summarization it's easy like this last in EJRP but one and two I want to put my key here this is my key I called my key so 16 8 4 2 and one so now I want the lowest IP address is 1.1 one. 192.168.1.1 one. and the highest is 4.1 so I want to summarize from 1.1 one to 4.1 one. yes so now how can we summarize this like this 1.1 one one is here dot zero 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 and here is one because this is one sorry I don't care about this octet I want this octet because the change or the difference in the third octet just so now go to the this for dot one this is zero sorry zero 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 and it is zero here is we have four because it's equal four zero here is one zero and zero so I want to solve it zero and zero they are the same zero zero and zero the same also zero 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 it's the same also it is the same look at this we have here is difference here is zero and one so here is the difference so stop here stop here so here is my configuration here is 192 the summarization will be like this dot zero dot zero because here is all of them they are zero dot zero yes dash it is eight and eight eight plus eight it's 16 so 16 17 the third octet it will be 17 18 19 20 and 21 which equals by 255 255 here is 192, 128, 192, 224, 240, 248. So here is 248.0. It's equal 21. <coughs> yes. So now go to the router one back to the router one. I want just to 192, 168.0.0. Here, look at this. This is not a class fault it's classless now so here is the problem we are going to face it so 255 255 two, 
48.0. Aha, uh -huh, look at this. He says the summary mask must be greater or equal a major net. So this is, it's not, so it is, it's not useful to use this for your summarization because my summarization, it's enter in a classless, not in a classful. So what is the solution here? The solution is something strange, but it's beneficial to do it. The first step I want to make <clears throat> a static route uh, distant to the next top to the null zero and I want to advertise this and I want to exception also my summarized loopback interfaces by using the IP prefix list so how can we do this let me show you go to the router one the first step I want to make a static route distant to the null zero like this IP route map 192.168.0.0. I want to put my summarization here. So now like this 255.255.248.0. Go to the null zero here. Sorry, to the null zero. Now go show IP root. I want to show you here what we have. So now we have this, yes. This is my summarize in 21. Look at this. This is the same of this. So I make my summarization or my interface loop, my loopback interfaces, which I want to summarize it. I put it to the null zero. So here is the secret. So now we are going to what? To go to the router two. And let's see here. Have we see this? Show IP routes. Let me see this here. Look at this. We don't see the OSPF. Sorry, we don't see the static route here. So why? Simply, I want to redistribute the static. So I want to conf t and go to the router rep and make redistribute static here just like this I want to make the redistribute static just hit enter if you want to go to the router 2 now you will see static route look at this yes I see it here's look at this it's 192.168.0.0.21 yes it's distance to the serial 0, 0.0 this is that's a good one so now this is a good one so this is what I want to see here in router 2 but look at this I want also don't see this and this one two three and four so I don't want to see these IB addresses here which is included for router 1 so here is I want to use IP prefix list so I want just to make this like this look at this so IP prefix list look at this. the first thing the IP prefix list I want just to exclude my network so I want to advertise this so this is the exception so I because I want to advertise this network address so I want to put it the first in the first line of the prefix list here is I can make uh, rep summary maybe the same this is the name just here is I have deny or permit so here is I want to permit I want to permit this network address to go yes to the router 2 so I want to make this 192 168 that's 0 to 0 look at this here is dash and the knit mask is 24 sorry is 21 just like this hit enter without using anything so I make this I permit this now I want to deny look at this I want to deny or don't advertise 192.168.1.1 here is it 192.168.1.1 and dot .2.3 and dot .4 what is it here? Yes, I don't want to advertise them. 
So how can do this with IP prefix list? The same thing here, just the same. So now I here is I want to make deny because I don't want to advertise. So hit deny here, and here is our prefix link. Here is one nine two one six eight dot zero dot zero. Look at this. It's to twenty one. Look at this. It's twenty one. But here is. If I hit this, it will deny this, but it will deny this IP address. But what can we do here? Look at this. We have another option here. Look at this. It's GE and LE. What does that mean? GE, it's a greater or equal. LE, it's less than or equal than. So what I want to do now, I want to do if it's the... IB addresses or the network addresses it's from look at this I want to use this then just to want to explain why look at this from 24 so look at this if it's less than 24 to 21 yes so if it's 192.168.1.1 or the 2.1 or the 3.1 or the 4.1 just I want to Lock them, don't advertise them because it is less than 24 to 21. So, less than 24 and 21, please don't advertise them. Look at this, be attention if I did this command or this line without this line, sorry, without this line, this it will also block this IP address. Yes. If I did this line without exception, yes, without exception of this IB address, so it will also deny this IB address. But because I uh, exception this by this line, the first line, so this IB address will be will permit, and anything of the anything or another IB address, it will be what it will be deny. So hit enter now. The first, the last thing I want to uh, permit any any like the access list and the permit any any for the IP prefix list like this. This is kind of uh, IP and uh, the permit any any. So I can do 0 to 0 to 0 to 0 dash 0. I can do less than 32. So I do if any IP address from 32 to the 0 to 0 to 0 to 0, this says just permitted so this is so we have a three line here i want just to show you show ip prefix list we have a three line this is the first one i want to permit this this is my exception and here is my deny i want to deny 192.168.1 and the 2 and the 3 dot 4 so this means that it is from 24 mask 221 mask so less than 24 until 21 so this is my ex this is my what I want to deny it so look at this maybe I make it deny here this is a mistake I should make permit should make permit no. sorry conf t look at this here is it no just make it no and make here permit sorry I maybe I didn't yes show IP prefix now here's life yes and anything permit any 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 it's equal like this 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 slash 0 less than or equal 32 so from 32 yes or less than 32 please advertise them so this is what I want to do so now final step I want to uh, connect or to apply this IP prefix list into distribute list so conf t go to the router rep I want to distribute list yes with here is a prefix list yes prefix list this is the name of prefix list like this copy and paste easy yes and sorry and uh, here is uh, in or out I want just to apply this IP prefix list 
this IP prefix test to apply on this serial interface 000 to be out. So go to the router one. So out into serial 00. So now I think everything is good now. Go to the router two and show IP root trip. Just I want to see what happened here. Look at this. It's it, they are still uh, appear in the router two. Why? Because I want to make clear IP route just uh, sorry IP route this is uh, delete all routes like this you can see like this just easy now show IP route trip yes look at this I see this I see here is it my exceptions so 192.168.0.0 here is this is the summarization this is the summarization what appear in router 2 and in fact this is not the summarize this is the static route which uh, distant to the null zero on router 1 but it will work it will work no problem so here is I advertise this and this is here is my exceptions so show IP root so now I did the summarization here and also if I go to the router 3 I should see also the summarization here go to the router 3 show IP root yes just like this I see here's look at this this is the summarization I can ping to them if you want to see where is it 192.168.1.1 yes the 2.1 the 3.1 and it folded one so that's good so I did the summarization here by using the IP prefix list yes so I used IP prefix list and also I used the static route yes to the null zero and apply the prefix list by the distribute list so this is a very 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 good information for you to know it so just I want to show you something here on router 2 what I did here show run so I want to show you something interesting also look at this on OSPF here I did the redistribute rep and subnet and also I have another choice to make a redistribution here on OSPF because I have here is, look at this because show IP root here because I have this, this is the kind of the static route. I can't uh, redistribute it by the default information originate always. So I want to show you how can we do this. OSPF1. Just I want to cancel or disable this redistribution. So now make uh, a default, yes, information originate always this is just for OSPF this is not a work in EAGRB or RIP just for OSPF just hit enter now just go to the router 3 and now you will not see all of these networks just you will see the static route look at this show IP route look at this yes I have this static route this is the summarization so I see the summarization here and also I see here is the summarization so let me just show run here because I need to make clear IP OSPF I think oh my god I have here the distribute rep so I don't want to see it like empty empty OSPF one no this command also so now go to the router 3 yes here is it I don't see just I see the static route so I can reach to the any 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 networks outside the router 2 so here is we have two choice I have default information originate always and I have a redistribute rib subnet to make a redistribution this is not uh, good to use it just use this if you want to redistribute to rep so I want to 
disable this default information and I want to just to go back to redistribute rep with subnet because I used subnet here because OSPF it deals with classful so just like this now go to the router 3 also show IP root here is it it's still one thing it's still OSPF external OE1 and OE2 look at this What we have here, router three. Look at this. This is the administrative distance 100 and one, 110. And here is look at this. This is the metric of E2. E2. Look at this. I have two type external type, external type two, and external type one. Here is it. By default, it will use external by E2. So what is the difference between E1? and e2 the e2 the first thing is is the default this is the by the default to use it and the cost it will equal just the external so the external the external route yes the external cost it will equal here just and the e1 it will use the accumulative it will use the external 20 plus the cost of yes the OSPF so the external route plus internal cost so in E1 it used external route here is 20 plus internal cost which is 64 so if I used E1 here is I should see uh, 60 86 I should see 86 because 20 plus 64 so 86 let me show you here how can we see this go to the router 2 and I can go to there router router OSPF I want to show you something here and we can uh, <coughs> uh -huh, let me see no not not, not here we should go to the router rep. We should go to the router OSPF. No, router OSPF. Yes, I'm sorry. And make redistribute. Here's rep. Yes, with um, uh, metric. With subnet here. Let me see here. Yes, with metric type. Yes, I have subnet with metric type. It is one or two. If I use Two is by default two look at this if I hit this to one yes it will use this says look at this go to the router three and make sure I period this is the metric it will change look at this sorry look at this here is one e1 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 and e1 look at this we have here 84 84 84 and 84 it changed why because 20 because here let me show you here just to, to be clear for you what is it the e1 cost sorry let me just e2 costs equal 20 by default but e1 cost it will equal what it will equal 20 the external cost plus the internal the internal is it as you remembered here as you remembered it we have 64 so 20 plus 64 it will equal 84 so here is what I see here in router 3 I see 84 because this is cumulative like the same the E1 it's I think the same of OSPF cost it is cumulative cumulative with uh, external and the internal cost but uh, what is that different I will, or work how can I use E1 or when I can use E2 the E1 it used if I have a multiple ASPR if I have a multiple ASPR like this let me show you here if I have a multiple ASPR not router or two just I have here look at this I have just one ASPR if I have multiple ASPR 
advertising an external route to the same autonomous system yes because I want to avoid suboptimal routing because here is uh, if I have multiple ASBR I should use E1 if I have just one one ASBR so I don't need to use E1 it should use to the E2 because there is no yes there is no problem about suboptimal routing just the ASBR because here I have one so I should use the type 1 type 2 sorry default by type 2 so uh, we talked about the configure OSPF rip version 2 and we make a redistribution between OSPF and rip version 2 we used IP prefix list when we want to make a summarizations because the summarization in rip just deal with the classful and here we have classless so we used IP prefix list with the static route to the null zero and we applied the IP prefix list and redistribute list uh, to out there to this interface we know also how to calculate the metric of OSPF and we know what is the difference between E1 and E2 and how can we calculate the metric of E1 and E2 so that was everything today in this video so I hope this video to be beneficial for you and don't forget to ask me about anything you want to know about this video or any information you don't understand it so I hope this video to be valuable for everyone who watch it so see you in the next video and bye bye